Welcome to this session on creating a workset template. So now that we've set up this company default workspace on our network, we want to include in that a default workset template so that we can create additional worksets, one for each project that we want to set up with Open Buildings Designer. So in order to create that template, I'm just going to again copy one of the delivered workset templates. So I'm going to come back over to my, uh, my C drive where I have the delivered configuration. I'm going to open up the workspaces folder. I'm going to open this building examples workspace. And under that, there is a work sets folder. And you can see here, there's several different building templates. You should have a building template for each regional data set that you installed with the software. I installed both the US and the neutral metric data set, and so those are the building templates that I have. So I'm going to use the building template US as my work set template. I want to select that folder as well as its corresponding CFG file or configuration file. So I'm going to select those two. I'm going to select copy. And then I'm going to come back over to my XYZ workspace, the company standard workspace. I'm going to open the work sets folder and I will paste. And if you like, you might want to rename those. I'm going to rename this as the project template US. I'm going to use an underbar to make sure it always sorts to the top of the list. And whatever I name this folder, I want to be sure to rename the configuration file as well. Those need to match exactly. And I could create additional templates if you happen to use more than one regional data set. Perhaps you have projects in both US units and metric units. You could create additional project templates, again, by simply copying the delivered templates. So now that I have that copied into my workspace, I'm going to once again start up Open Buildings Designer. So you can see I have the XYZ workspace selected, and I have this one work set, the project template US. Now again, that's the template. If I want to create a work set, I'm going to select the create work set and then use that as the template. So I would give this new project a name. So for instance, project one, two, three, a description. And here's where I want to select the template. So I want to use that project template US, and then I'm going to select OK. And you can see that is now our active work set, which can be selected from the pull down. And let's create a new file within that work set and see what we have. So note that it has automatically put me on the network under the configuration workspaces, XYZ workspace, work sets, projects one, two, three, under the designs folder. And I could create a new file here. We'll just call it model. And I'm going to select save, and that's going to open the new file. So we've now set up all three tiers of our data set. We have the delivered data set, the data set US. We have the workspace that we set up, and we also now have a work set. So in order to see what that three-tiered configuration looks like, I'm going to go ahead and open up the family and part editor. And if I expand, for instance, the parts here, you can see here that we have all the delivered parts, which are on the C drive under our data set US. But in addition to that, we have a parts folder on the workspace, the XYZ workspace that was set up on the W drive, that's on the network drive. And we also have a part folder within the project one, two, three work set, which is also out on the network drive. And it would find parts in all of those folders. So for instance, if I opened up my architectural parts here and I wanted to create or customize my a wall component, for instance, the brick wall here, I might copy it from the delivered data set and then move up into my work set folder. And I can simply come over here in the field and paste, and then it actually creates the XML file and the, and the family needed. 
and now I have a brick part within the work set and perhaps I want to customize that in some way maybe on drawing symbology I want to change the line weight or on the cut patterns I want to change the pattern color and maybe even on rendering properties I want to change the material used. And since this part is read first, it will override the part which is in the delivered data set. So that's what the three-tiered data set looks like. So in a small organization, this may be all the setup required. You have the delivered regional data set, which is on the local hard drive. It would be on each workstation's local hard drive. And that would be the primary data set for all projects. And then on the network, you have the organization folder and the workspace folders for your company platform standards. And you have the work set also on the network for all of your project files and standards. Now in the next session, we'll take a look at migrating customizations you may have had in previous versions of Open Buildings Designer into your new workspace. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.